this is the um, this is the video tour of Nisara's pyramid complex at uh, Abu Sir and also his sun temple at Abu Ghraib. Now the king ruled Egypt for 31 years so we know that he's going to achieve you know a look great great things during his reign. He ruled from 2453 BCE which was 4473 years ago. Now if you look at the plan of Abusur, he his pyramid is at plan C so it's marked up C and you can see that he wanted to build his pyramid next door to his uh, father um, and he didn't build the biggest pyramid it was only 52 meters tall so he wanted that close association with his uh, his father um, uh, next door he finished off his father's causeway and valley temple and added his causeway onto his father's so it was a joint um, section there you can see where his father's causeway comes down and his joins up now he didn't usurp it he just wanted to finish his father's project and at the same time it would benefit both him and his father the that's why the mortuary temple is set off it's not central to the pyramid the um, burial chamber the descending passageway in the burial chamber are subterranean so that they were cut into the rock before they built the solid structure on top and of course it was covered with Tura limestone. What's interesting is on the outer enclosure you have a sort of a, like a pylon structures on the corners. First time we've seen that in Egyptian architecture. Um, then if we have a look at the map of Abu Ghraib, his sun temple is located at F. Now, um, if you have a look at the Valley Temple there, next to the Valley Temple, <clears throat> next to the Valley Temple is a solid boat structure, and that would be used by his spirit to make the journey to the afterlife and back. The causeway links up to red granite lintel door when you enter the complex. Right in front of you, of you, you're going to see this giant alabaster altar and those blocks of alabaster are around about 17 tons each and that's what makes up the center and the, and the, and the, uh, and the sides. Wow, you know, that came from the alabaster quarries some 20, 25, maybe 30 kilometers away. So really important stones. And what's amazing about alabaster is when you get light to it, it glows. So when it was first polished during that hot part of the day, those stones must have been glowing. Then either side of the open court behind the altar are the slaughterhouses where they used to kill the animals to make the offerings um, um, at the uh, altar and then take it down to the pyramid. Look how many there are. It's really, really must have been a busy place. Um, then we have the podium. Podium was built with inner core stones. The lower stones are decorated with pink granite. And then you've got the obelisk on top. And the whole thing is enclosed with an outer enclosure. So what happened here? Well, it doesn't have a roof on this temple. The rays of the sun are supposed to come down and flood that, uh, that uh, courtyard so that the rays of the sun get into the offerings which are being offered to um, uh, the king's spirit. Then it's transported down onto boats, goes down the canal to his pyramid complex. It's taken up and placed into the um, um, mortuary temple to feed the king's spirit. The open court in the pyramid of the open court uh, of uh, Nisera was again uh, built around the idea of visitors and pilgrims coming to that part of, of his pyramid complex. Now remember he ruled Egypt for 31 years and he did finish off other projects. 
he, as I mentioned, he finished off Nefekara's uh, Causeway and Valley Temple. In the Valley Temple, we put a black basalt floor, which we all know means life. Um, he finished off his brother's uh, pyramid, uh, it turned it from a pyramid into a mastaba so he could bury his brother. He finished off Menkara's Valley Temple. So, we're talking about, he's looking back at Giza, at the great kings, what he considers the great kings of the, of the Fourth Dynasty, and Menkara's small pyramid. Remember the Ra, Kafra, Menkara, Nasser Ra. Maybe he felt an affiliation because they were the first ones the first kings to put Ra in their name. And maybe that's why he finished off Menkara's Valley Temple. He built two Queen's Pyramids. He added to the Sun Temple of Yusakaf, and he finished off his mother's pyramid. So he was a very busy lad, and, um, and, and, and uh, he made the most of his time and resources. So thank you for listening to this tour. Um, to make this a reality, please uh, make a small donation at GoFundMe uh, so I can go to Egypt and video this so you can download it onto your phone when you go to Egypt and you'll get all these facts and information. So thank you very much for listening to this and bye for now, see you soon.